Good morning, you guys. I am so excited to finally be doing this video. I have been trying to put together my patio for a hot minute. And if you guys haven't noticed, a lot of the outdoor activity items and patio items went like hot cakes because everyone has been home and enjoying their space at home, which that's exactly what I've been doing and I'm just really excited to share how I went about it. thing that I did was go through and just clear everything off of my patio. That includes around my patio, kind of by the shed. We just took all the things off of the patio that we didn't want and found proper homes for them. And I really like to take time when I'm cleaning a space, not just to shove what was there into a different space, but to truly clean it out. If I want it, keep it. If I don't want it, I need to get rid of it. Once we got everything off of our space, we took a power washer to the cement. That was very satisfying for me. <laughs> we went through and just basically power washed everything. specific power washer that we were using. This one came from uh, Walmart and I will definitely leave a link for this one. There are some really pricey power washers and then there are really cheap ones that don't do anything and I feel like this is like that perfect middle ground one that will actually get rid of the gunk on your cement and sidewalks and your brick on your walls and it doesn't break the budget. So it actually works and is really cost effective so I'll put that in the description for you guys. While the patio was drying I had Joel help me hang the lights. He is a saint. Before we bought the lights, we took a piece of string and we strung it across so we could measure the string to see how much lighting we were going to need. Because I wanted the lights to look good. I feel like outdoor lights can either look super chintzy or like super pretty. I feel like these look super pretty, but they didn't break the bank. I'm such a sucker for mood lighting. I searched on Amazon and I wanted to find a strand of lights that were going to match my pergola. I think if I had a dark wood pergola or like a black one, I would have got the black string of lights. Anyway, I love the look of our white strands with our white pergola. It just feels really like light and airy and summery. Now hanging the lights was kind of a tricky thing. So what I initially thought I was going to do is they have 3M hooks like sticky hooks that are outdoor, specifically for outdoor, but I didn't trust those. I didn't want my lights to break. So after the 3M hook, we went in with a clear zip tie and then clamped them down just for some extra security. Now, the whole rug situation. If you did not watch my story time video on the rug, you're going to need to watch that. It will kind of explain things more, especially this footage that you're seeing. I did end up going with a different rug. I got the rug from Chili witch.com and the reason I went with these guys after I initially bought my first rug was because this is such a thin low profile rug and it's okay to get wet <laughs> it's good for indoor and outdoor I actually had these inside of my house and they last so well and they wipe up really really well I should have gone with that in the first place I love boutique rugs their rug I initially got was so good but it just not for outdoor and their outdoor selection they didn't have very many big rugs and so i am so pleased and happy with the rug that we got now for the main <laughs> the main showstopper of my patio is the patio furniture all the patio furniture came from live outer i will definitely be linking them in the description because this is like a step above your typical patio furniture and where my space was so small i really wanted it to be comfy i have wanted to buy just like cheapy stuff to go out here but every time i looked at it or you know visit with friends that have it it was like you get one season out of it and then it looks like you need a new set. And so I didn't want to go mediocre on the price and then be replacing it really quickly. And so I thought, you know, I've never regretted paying a little extra and getting what I pay for versus like, oh, I should have just, you know, bit the bullet and like bought the nice furniture to begin with. So it's definitely worth its money. And I want to go through and 
tell you all the things that make it kind of worth the money. For starters, if you wanna talk about packaging, the packaging is so important because it's like, you know that like the nice stuff comes in good packaging. That's super cool. <laughs> I like that tool. I never keep tools that people send it back. I totally think of this thing. That's awesome. Joel made mention of the little tools that came with it to make it easier to put your furniture together. One, I mean it comes, it is not difficult to assemble. Not difficult at all. I could manhandle these things coming out of the packaging. I liked that they're lightweight, but that the quality is still there. Joel was definitely impressed. Repeat what you just said about that hardware, Joel. It's so nice. It's stainless steel hardware. Like that is expensive, nice, and there's extra so you know you just, you can't screw stuff up. It's coming from the mouth of Joel Holine, people. We were laughing because Joel said, he's like, I have put together Barbie houses that were so much more difficult than this. So definitely easy to assemble. Well, that's cute. That is just cute. I actually want to take a second and show you guys how easy it is to um, cover these. That was my first question, was if they came with a cover or not. So this thing Velcros underneath, you put your pillow underneath, and then under the front flap, there's a little Velcro that hooks to it. So you can Velcro it shut and it even has a handle. So if you're wanting to move it and store it anywhere, you've got the handle right here. Or you can just, I've done this several times where I know it's going to about to rain. I put the cover down and it protects the, the fabric. As far as decor goes, I wanted to keep things really simple and green. This is an artificial plant that this is one of those situations that I didn't need to spend as much as I did. So when the when they came, the quality wasn't as good as what I was thinking. If I had this to do over again, I would choose cheaper plants and I will link a few recommendations in the description for you guys. This came from just like a local store, but there's a similar one that I'll link in the description. I will also link the planters. My designer friend gave me a really good advice. She said, even if your tree is fake, get real dirt and stick it in because because that just kind of helps with the whole look of everything. So that is exactly what I did. And I have the same two plants and potters back here, just in taller sizes. So I've got those there. This pillow came from Target and I don't think that it is in stock anymore, which I'm so bummed about. But if it is, I will link it. And then same with this little planter I put a fake one here I'm a really big fan of fake plants <laughs> just because they're so much easier to maintain and then also this stand came from Target which I believe this is in stock and I will link all of the pillows came from Target so I will try if they're in stock I'll definitely make sure to link them I originally ordered two stands and I went to order a third and they were gone everything was gone so fast and so anyway those ones are not in stock they are my favorite on this stand I put a plant and then a citronella candle which I love and actually work really well I bought several and so when people come over I set more out at a time this planter above is definitely real and is flourishing. Joel ran a um, little drip system up the side as you can kind of see and it's growing very well. This corner over here is definitely the most comfy so when my guests come I have them sit here because it's just so comfy to sit on pillows also came from Target this is an older blanket that I just had already had I thought this was really cute it's just like a little lantern with a fake thing in there oh do you know what I'm gonna see if I can find a citronella candle that'll fit in there that's what I'm going to do hello and then just these came from a little local store which I'm so bummed about because all the blossoms they were so cute I thought oh the little red blossoms will be so pretty up against the red brick house and then 
All the blossoms are like in between. They're getting ready to blossom on me, so whoopsie. Now the whole time I was putting together the whole patio situation, I kept seeing the shed behind me. And so <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I don't care. If it's 100 degrees outside, I am painting this shed. And I didn't go all out. I literally just touched up the tan and painted it white with some outdoor paint. I don't know. I don't know if it looks any better, but I don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of cute back there and it, it's meant to be rustic. I didn't want it to be perfect with our fence. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. I think we'll redo our fence sometime. When the fence collapses, we'll definitely put in a new like white vinyl fence and I think that'll be really cute but for now I like the rustic like look of it it matches our neighborhood it's like an older red brick neighborhood so that's kind of where we left off I guess that's everything for our little patio transformation I really love the way that it feels Joel and I have spent so much time out here in the evenings our kids even love it during the day I'll watch them out here just kind of laying on the rug, laying on the furniture, holding Lady. Lady loves it. She is sitting here just like enjoying her sweet self. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I will have all the things that I've shown you linked in the description below. The wind is picking up, so this is the perfect time to close the vlog, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.